Senator Dianne Feinstein has become the latest leader, calling on the feds to pull the permit for a Patriot Prayer rally in San Francisco, fearing the kind of violence that broke out in Virginia. But our exclusive KPIX5 Survey USA poll shows 47% say that the group should be allowed to hold its protest at Chrissy Field. 34% said it should not. The poll also found 37% of people think that the Bay Area is becoming less tolerant of different views. 27% say it's becoming more tolerant, while a quarter say it's about the same as always. But when it comes to proactive rallies, KPI X5's Phil Filmateer talked to those who say it is best not to play into their hands. Phil. That's right. One of the questions being out there is that. All right, if you protest the protest, are you basically bringing attention to the people you oppose? We've seen it in Berkeley, we've seen it in Portland, we've seen it in Seattle. Question is, should it be seen here in San Francisco as well? Here's a thought from Speaker or House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi. I would say uh, not to, uh, to play into their hands. We expect if they're there that other people will be there to protest them. I would recommend that they do so with dignity and silence. Sam Singer, who specializes in corporate crisis management, agrees. There's no counter protest. All the public sees is a bunch of guys dressed as sort of right wing military nut jobs talking to themselves. What's going to get them the attention, the news media attention from fellows like you, is when there's a counter protest and there's a huge fight because that gets news interest. In. And with the violent images of Charlottesville still fresh in the public's mind, counter protest organizer Melanie Nathan from Marin says it's no time to back down. I think it's critical for there to be a counter demonstration. If we stayed away, it might be interpreted as a tacit approval, which it absolutely could never be. Fear of a violent confrontation, as we saw recently in Seattle at a Patriot Prayer demonstration, has local leaders calling for the federal government, which controls Chrissy Field, to reconsider its permit for the demonstration. I've asked the uh, Park Service uh, if they have seriously evaluated their capacity to ensure the safety of people who would attend such a rally. The promise of a big opposition turnout and the possible question of violence is also being used as a chit. I see a turnout in force. The more of a buildup we show, a resistance we show that will happen on that day, the more likely it will be that that permit should and will be revoked. In reaction, Patriot Prayer organizer Joey Gibson, who has led similar demonstrations in Seattle and Portland, is doubling down as well. Because the people at the top, they're, they're doing everything they can to hold on to their power. Personally, I would want to confront them directly. And as you can see behind us, a group of protesters is already out trying to drum up support here at Chrissy Field. And you can hear the reactions of motorists as well. So it's clear that this debate and this demonstration is going to be news for some time to come. Alan? It will indeed. Phil, the ACLU defended the rally in Charlottesville. Is it saying anything about the Chrissy Field rally? It's actually released a statement today saying that while they clear that the position of the First Amendment must be held, it does not include or protect people who incite or engage in violence. If white supremacists march into our towns armed to the teeth with the intent of harming people, they are not engaging in protested under the Constitution. It's interesting to note, however, the Patriot Prayer is nonviolent. They do not espouse supremacist views, although some of the people that might show up will. So it's going to be interesting to see how the ACLU, which has been one of the leaders in freedom of speech, eventually falls on this issue as well. We will know more tomorrow. Phil Mateer, thank you.